it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a really exciting video for you today. Madam Glam has sent me some more products and I finally got my hands on their Builder Gel and I'm so excited to try it out for you guys and see how it works. Um, I've heard really great things. People love it. So we're going to finally try. So this is the state my nails are currently in. Um, school is hard on them. <laughs> We practice on each other. We have to soak them off, put them back on, soak them back off, put them back on. So they're dry, they're brittle, they're broken. This one got a crack in it. It is a wonder I even have a free edge at all on some of these. And I got a little boo-boo. Smashed my finger under my desk. So, yeah. Anyways, we are going to take these beautiful gels and make the nails beautiful. So what I have are four different gels here. I have two of the Builder gels and I have two from their Platinum Collection. And I have Precious Stone, which is a beautiful purple. And I have Little Sis, or Lil Sis. <laughs> and that's a pretty, pretty pink. So these are gorgeous and I cannot wait to play with these. Um, and then the Builder Gels, I got Baby Pink and Ivory. So I'm thinking what to use, what to use. Um, maybe I'll start with the Ivory, see how I like that. Maybe I'll do one with the Baby Pink and just to compare, see what it looks like. But yep, I'm going to use Nail Forms and I'm going to build out the nail with this Builder Gel. So let's get started. So I've already um, prepped my nails by removing what was on it before. I had a couple acrylics um, on this one and this one I had an acrylic nail on. So I took those off and I've pushed back my cuticles and I just washed my hands. I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to dehydrate the nails. And for this Builder Gel it says to use a base coat first. So I am going to use the Madam Glam Base Gel. and. Put that on, cure it, and then I'm going to apply my forms. I'm going to probably demonstrate most of this on my thumb. I find that the easiest to film, so I hope you don't mind. And it's kind of the one in the nicest shape right now. <laughs> Okay, so the base layer is on and cured. I have my form. These are from Email Couture, or Couture, however you like to say it. And that is the website right there, emailcouture.com. And this is from, I believe it's Max Estrada. Um, they're okay forms. I had somebody ask me some questions about them. They're very sticky, which is great. You don't want a form that's gonna be um, popping apart on you. And They've got a nice thickness to them, so you can get a nice bend in them. Uh, they do have a bit of an odd shape here, so this isn't going to fit every nail shape, especially a wide square nail. It's going to be hard to get on. Um, so the shaping you can always cut, um, but for my suggestion for forms, you want um, to have a few different shapes if you're working on clients. That way, you're not spending a lot of time trying to customize your forms to that client's nail shape and this will give you a little example here um, if my nail were any shorter i would have a gap right here but i've got just enough of a free edge to where i don't have that gap so i can make this work for me but you don't want to be you know spending all your time cutting your forms to shape um, so have a few different shaped forms available and just a little tip for you guys. Um, okay, so this is the Builder Gel in the color Ivory. And this is what it looks like. It's very thick. Sorry if you hear a bunch of background noise. It is the middle of the day. My daughter is up watching TV, so you may hear her scream. So this is very thick. It may be a little hard for me to work with. I'm used to working on something this thick with a brush and it being on, you know, out of the bottle like this might be a little bit of a learning curve, but I'm going to do 
a base coat of the gel um, down the whole nail and then I'm going to extend out the free edge and you can see it's starting to drip a little bit but really really slow it's very thick Okay, so I went ahead and cured that for 30 seconds. I'm going to remove my form and cure it for another 30 just to make sure it's completely cured all the way through. That is what it looks like so far. Okay, so it's all cured. And now I'm gonna build up the structure of the nail, make a nice apex. Um, so far, it's super easy to build out that shape. I really enjoyed that, but it's a little bit harder to get it smooth on the nail plate itself um, just because of the awkwardness of the brush that's in the bottle. Um, it's a little thick, the brush itself, so it's a little hard to smooth out that part, but so far I'm really liking it. Okay, so I'm going to build up the rest of the nail now. So here is where we are so far, and that looks pretty good. Um, I got a nice decent structure, but the nail is still pretty thin. There we go. Beautiful C-curve. And I can get this a little crooked, <laughs> but the nail looks pretty good. Um, it's a little thick on one side, on this side, than it is on this side. It's a little hard to control with the brush from the bottle, um, but I love the product and I love how it self levels and it's so smooth and almost the perfect light line. Almost. It's a little lumpy though, um, but for my first try, I think that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to remove the inhibition layer and then I'm going to shape it up a little bit and then we'll do the baby pink okay now that I have it all shaped up I'm going to um, just put a top coat on I'm going to use the no wipe top coat which is running very low There we go, and that is so beautiful. I love this so much. It looks so just natural and soft, and I love this ivory color. It's almost got a hint of pink to it, but then you can still see my nail bed from underneath. You can still slightly see the lanula, and it just makes it look so natural. It's beautiful. I love it. Okay. Gonna cure that. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of cuticle oil on. And there we go. That is the finished nail. I love it. I'm obsessed. Um, definitely a learning curve with the uh, the brush from the bottle to you know maneuver it, but I think I'm getting it. Okay, I'm going to show you the um, baby pink one. I think I'm going to do that on the pinky nail. And then I'll do all of them and come back and show you the finished look.
delicious. All right, there we go. All done. I um, filed and top coated, so it is done. And there's a little color comparison for you. There we go. The baby pink is just a little bit more opaque than the ivory. And of course, it's more pink. Um, but I really love this product. The brush is a little hard to use because it's just like the brush you would get for your gel polishes. So it's a little soft. I'd like a, it to be a bit firmer, maybe, and a little bit smaller. It's a little fluffy for me. Um, and that makes it a little difficult, especially on smaller fingers, to get that gel where it needs to be. But other than that, I love it. It's hard, just like a builder gel. It's very durable feeling, um, and it's beautiful. I love this ivory one. So I am going to do the rest of my nails with the ivory, and I will show you some pictures at the end. And then I will um, swatch these ones here, the Platinum Collection, the two that I got, over top of these and show you pictures of that as well. So I'm going to say goodbye here. So stick around to see the pictures. And if you have any questions, as always, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. I want to thank everybody so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos. It means the absolute world to me because I love doing this so much. So thank you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.